So you want to date casually. You want to get your body count up. You want to have a rotation. You want to be a player. Look no further. I got you in this video right now, guys. But first, like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press. You know my slogan, playerism is the antidote to feminism. My name is King Dre, and I'm your gracious, gracious, gracious game advisor. They call me Captain Saver Bro. Also, before we get into it, I have a free upcoming event. I'm going to teach you the three secrets to make a woman love, respect, and honor you. When you take this advice and you implement it, I guarantee you, you see immediate results, and you'll be a light years ahead of every guy around you. Click the link that's in the description, or go to Love, Respect, Honor to sign up. It's absolutely free. It's coming up in a few days. But let's get straight into this game. Now, I recently got off of a consultation with a guy, um, you know, and he wanted to know why he can't keep women around. Like, he can't sustain anything. He didn't want a relationship. He just wanted to play the field, but he was tired of burning and churning through women, right? He couldn't keep any woman around longer than, you know, a date or two. And then they would go, so go missing. And um, that inspired this video. He wanted to play the field, but he wasn't having success. So that inspired this video. And I'm also going to put out a podcast, um, upcoming podcast, I think next week. I'm going to go super, super, super in-depth on this topic. But this video, you know, if you want to watch the short form, and I say short form, I mean 10 minutes uh, or less, I'm going to break it down for you. But, again, the podcast is going to be super long, probably an hour going into this. Um but it inspired this video. His situation inspired this video. Let's get straight into it. There's some things that you guys do wrong that hinder your progress for if you want to play the field. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to play the field and date casually if you plan the game correctly. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to stop giving a fuck. What does that mean? You are here for a good time, not a long time. Stop holding these women to the standard of a wife or a girlfriend. What do I mean by that? Let's say you don't want a woman who smokes weed or you don't want a woman who parties or go to clubs or whatever the case may be, which is valid, especially for if you want like a wife or a woman to be in a relationship long term. But if you're just trying to play the field and get your numbers up and get you some experience, that shouldn't matter. Stop disqualifying women over little shit. You understand what I'm saying? Stop disqual disqualifying them over shit that really don't matter. Right? Now, am I telling you to do dumb shit and deal with strippers and violate the rules of the game? No. But if you're going <clears throat> if you're gonna be casual, why do you care if she drinks or goes out to a party or has some little quirk? You that shouldn't affect your life because because again, you here for a good time and not a long time. Me personally, I don't want to be in a, a relationship with a woman who smokes weed or smokes weed every day or drinks. You understand what I'm saying? But I've dated women who smoke weed and drink and go out to clubs because I didn't care. That don't affect me. That don't bother me. I'm coming to hit it, kick it for a little bit, maybe go out every, every blue moon, chill, vibe, and that's it. No harm, no foul, no feelings invested. But a lot of you guys try to hold jump offs. You try to hold jump offs to and give them like wifey standards. Like it don't work like that. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're going to be in the game, then you have to understand that. Stop giving a fuck. You're caring too much. You're caring too much about the little red flags. And again, I'm not talking about stuff like that in regards to your safety, whether a woman is a bad person or not. You're not supposed to let bad people into your life and, and women who are going to do you any harm and drain you and take advantage of you. You're not supposed to let those type of women into your life. But I'm just talking about the standards that you have for a wife should be different than the standards that you have for a jump off. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of you guys don't understand that. And you disqualify every woman that come along. You're not going to keep no women like that. And that's how you're going to fucking have dry spells. So lower your standards a little bit is basically what I'm saying. That's number one. And again, I'm speaking on if you're just trying to play the field. If you're just trying to play the field and date casually and get some experience and get your numbers up. Just lower your standards a little bit because there's not an abundance of quality women. And so if you're trying to play the field and date and get your numbers up, and you're trying to do this with only quality, wifey material women, you're going to always come up short because it's not a lot of them. But it's a lot of abundance of women. So that's number one. Number two, and this is big, guys. 
please protect your feelings. Protect your damn feelings. Put on a fucking condom, <clears throat> right? Put on a condom. Meat to meat bungee jumping is the fastest way to catch feelings. A lot of you guys are trying to play the field, but you're not doing things to protect your heart and, and, and to remain detached and to not catch feelings. You're jumping out here, just playing the game any old kind of way, and you're falling in love with hoes. You're falling in love with chicks who, 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 don't, who don't live up to your standards because you're not doing things to protect your feelings. You are a human being at the end of the day. I don't care who you listen to. I don't care what YouTube videos you watch. I don't care what podcast you watch that tell you you just the stoic rock of a man. You're a human being, and when you do certain things, you're going to catch feelings. Laying up with women, <clears throat> sleeping with them without a condom, and spending time with them, you are going to catch feelings. So put on a fucking condom. That is the fastest way to catch feelings. Put on a condom. Me personally, I haven't, I haven't slept with, which I, you know, had sex with a bunch of women. But it's not been too many women that I slept with without a condom. And those are facts. There's not too many women that can say I felt his meat raw. You understand? Because I knew that that was the fastest way to catch feelings, and I understood that. I knew that coming into the game. So I didn't set myself up for failure in that way. By, now, when I was younger, 15, 16, 17, 18, I didn't really – I didn't really abide by that rule. I knew better, but I didn't abide by it, and it bit me in my ass, and it will bite you in your ass. You don't want to be catching feelings for whores or chicks who know good or chicks who don't live up to your standards because you can't catch feelings for a woman who don't live up to your standards or who know good. You understand? So protect your feelings. Also, with the condom things, you don't want to, with the condom thing, you don't want to create kids from a woman who you don't even like. Or a woman who you don't want to be with. And you also don't want to catch something that you can't get rid of. So that's that. Another element to um, protecting your feelings is to keep your money in your pocket and spend as little money as possible. Wherever your money go, wherever you spend your money is where your, your heart going to go. Your heart and your feelings is going to follow that. I don't care who you are. Wherever you're spending your money, you're going to develop an attachment there. Now, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about if you're just tricking. Right. If you're just tricking and you're going to buy, you're just going to go on a stroll, go on the whole stroll or go on the blade, pay for a prostitute and one and done. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you dating a woman, you kicking it with a woman and you getting her hair done or you buying these expense, expensive dinners or you taking her shopping or you giving her money to help her pay her bills. You're going to start catching feelings when you're doing stuff like that. So keep your money in your pockets. Another element to protecting your feelings is to take off the fucking cape. Take off the cape. It's in us naturally to want to save women, and it's in us naturally to want to fix solutions and fix the problems from the women in our life and the people in our life. That is the masculine element. However, when you're trying to date casually and play the game, and remember, I'm just talking about guys if you want to date casually. You have to remember Again, this is the masculine element to want to fix problems and, get, and provide people solutions and help people, right? But when you do that, <laughs> you become attached to the people emotionally who you're trying to save or to who you're trying to help. Take off the cape. Her problems are her fucking problems. Don't go in trying to save that woman. Don't go in trying to fix her fucking credit. Don't go in trying to see to it that she can fuck all that. That's not what you're here for. You're here for a good time and not a long time. When you do, when you violate this and you you going against this code, you're gonna start catching feelings. You see, because you're starting to you starting to invest your energy into something, and you're gonna become emotionally attached to it, basically. So, put on a condom, keep your money in your pockets, and take the fucking cape off. Also, don't spend too much time. The more you land up with a woman and she rubbing your head. And telling you how great you are, and telling you she can't look, can't wait for a future with you after you have sex, and y'all just pillow talking, and it feels good. You're gonna start catching feelings. You're going to start catching feelings again. I don't care who you are, I don't care who you listen to, I don't care who's your hero, I don't care what they told you. You're a human being, and you will catch feelings. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of you guys think that <clears throat> you can turn your feelings off. So you say you may see a guy running around playing the game. And it may seem as though he don't have feelings. 
that guy do have feelings. That player do have feelings. He just has a system in, ta- in place to protect his feelings from falling in love or being damaged. He's doing things to prevent that t- from happening. You just think he don't have feelings. You understand what I'm saying? So that's that. <clears throat> now, the last thing that I want you guys to understand, right, and this is very important. You cannot do both. You cannot be a husband. You cannot be a, a monogamous, faithful boyfriend. You can't be a family man and trying to be a player or date casually at the same time. A lot of you guys do that, and you bring nothing but stress, hardships, drama into your life. And when you bring that unnecessary stress and that unnecessary hardship and unnecessary drama into your life, it takes way too much energy. It's not noticeable until it's too late, and this is going to stop you from progressing. You understand what I'm saying? You cannot do both. Pick one. Please pick one. Set aside again and say, I'm just going to play the field. And then when you get done, date differently like you're trying to find a woman, a, a, a wife or a woman or a partner. Because it's different. When you date casually, you can't date like you're trying to find a woman. And when you're trying to find a woman, you have to date differently as if you're dating casually. And you, you're fucking the game up for yourself when you're trying to mix the two. So just pick one. Pick a route, stick to it, and be the best at it. You understand? Because a lot of the times, when you let's say you're trying to date casually and shit, you're going to run the pussy off. The chick going to put you into a boyfriend category. Here you is trying to play a casual game, but you got boyfriend energy. So the woman who is okay with being casual with you, what's going to happen? She's going to put you in the boyfriend box, and she's going to just play with you. You understand? But when you're trying to date like you're trying to find a woman, but then you got casual energy, you got fuckboy energy, you're going to run off the women who good for you. So you have to pick a route. You can't do both. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, that's been that. I'm your gracious, gracious, gracious game advisor, yours truly, King Dre. I've opened my books for uh, to do one-on-one consultations again. Go to kingdreism.com or send me an email at dre at kingdreism.com. Uh, join the Players Club, the playersclub.vip. That's my private exclusive men's community. We meet four times a month. Uh, Join that link is going to be in the description for that. And also my free event coming up in a few days. Go to loverespecthonor.com or click the link in the description. I will see you guys next time. Peace.